What if I say that painting nails with a nail paint contains toxic chemical, waxing causes skin diseases and shaving can be best way to promote cancers? Of course you will give damn to it and consider these activity as your daily life routine and at the end you will say it's normal. But when I talk about periods or menstruation cycle, cultural belief regarding this is so weird that they can bar women from education, jobs and over equality, their dignity and at the end you will consider these all thing as abnormal. Hello and welcome to Global Nepal Television and today I will be talking to you on myths about menstruation. Women will contaminate food. There is a myth that women cannot water plant or cook during their period because their uncleanness will spoil the food. In a study done in some random schools in rural areas, 55% of girls surveyed believed that they could not cook or enter the kitchen during menstruation or else food would become sour. While I am all for more boys and men taking on household chorus so that girls can get better education, this, mean, this myth doesn't help with that. The reason for this practice in ancient time was when sanitary pads were not introduced, then women did not have appropriate clothes to clean up the blood, so they were given bed to rest and take care of herself, rather moving around, but now see what happened. Women can't enter holy temples. This myth exists in many parts of the world. Women are believed to be unclean during menstruation and are thus not allowed to enter clean and holy places like temples. This is a form of gender inequality that limit women from the same human right like freedom to practice religion that men have access to. Girls and women menstruating are not unclean. They are normal, natural and healthy. The myth that women cannot enter temple and holy ground is culturally controversial and sensitive issue. When women are treated differently because of a natural occurring body cycle, it creates shame, taboo and humiliation toward periods that is deeply embedded into the society. And that is the thing that's ridiculous. You will be astonished to know that menstruation is disease in Iran. 48% of girls to believe that menstruation is a disease, according to UNICEF study 2012 biotechnology information revealed that when young iranian girls were given menstrual education more than half of them started bathing when they had periods while other bursted erroneous mis misconception similarly in bolivia pads need to be kept unseen and apart from other trash or could lead to cancer there are many myths avoiding sex avoiding swimming avoiding eating many types of food. Now these all myths were in practice before because ancient generation were not having facility of hygienic support and sanitary pads. An idea about why menstruation cycle is normal and important for a girl and women. But now if you are practicing this in the same name of tradition or myth, you are just misleading the generation into confined societal ideology that will restrict the growth of vast knowledge of such issues. My last point, don't feel ashamed of using sanitary pets. <laughs>